When has Audrey seen 13 deaths? Hello everyone, Brittany here and welcome back to part one. Oh, one of the hundred baby challenge. Mm, okay, so part 101, we have hit the triple digit mark. Holy crap. Okay, so where we left off, well, we hit part 100 of the 100 baby challenge. There was a lot of hundreds in that title. And um, we had yet another creative child. Go figure. I think about 90% of our children have been uh, creative, although, you know, I can't look that far back because, you know, I reset my computer and I'm missing, like, a good portion of them. But anyway, um, we, uh, we also got a little friendly with Bob. You know, he's our next victim, uh, candidate rather. And, uh, uh, I was a bit, um, I was like the homework police in the last part. Cause, uh, well, kids need to do their homework and get out, yo. So, um, all right, here we are. Audrey is about to pop and it's freezing in again. I, oh, oh my God. No way. No way. Guys, we are in. The last two days of winter. Yes. Oh my God. I'm so happy. I'm so done. I'm so done with winter. And right now in real life, I'm really done with summer. I'm not much of a summer person. Maybe because I work in the heat. I don't really enjoy it as much as... I'm not a heat person. You know, if I could have my ideal day, it would be uh, like 75. And oh, I never change their clothes whatever um it would be like 75 and with like a you know partly sunny with a slight breeze now if someone tells me i may have i meant i may have mentioned this before but if there is somewhere in the, somewhere that's that that temperature all the time <laughs> i want to live there but anyways so um and we did have our our sons age up uh vincent aged up in the last part and wilson did the part before that in part 99 so, and then we have, uh, Cora just sitting here doing nothing, girl. You have stuff to do. We still need money for our next bill, which is gonna be, like, 21,000 bucks. We have not opened these presents. Oh, they're about to go to school, too. Hello, Brittany. It's a school day. Why are you eating outside? Do you know it's freezing outside and you're eating outside in the cold with no gloves on, no hat? And your, your breakfast is going to be very cold very fast. Just so you know. Um, okay, so these two... Shoot, they need to have breakfast as well. Get leftovers and... Woo, man, you need some serious leftovers. Oh, dear. Um, uh, oh, that happened. Uh... I don't know how many times it happened, but it appeared she peed her pants. Oops. Um, we, there's stats on that somewhere. Let's look that up. Um, yeah, okay, here we go. Um, times bladder failed for. Okay, it's not like, it's not bad. It's not like how many times she's passed out, which is 18. So, um, what? What? Wait a second. When has Audrey seen 13 deaths? Did I miss something? Because the only person that I know of that died in front of her was her daughter, sadly. The dearly departed, uh, Lacey. There we go. That's her name. Ooh, that was bad. Uh, wow. Um... 105 whims. She's been very, very confident. A little bit embarrassed. Energized. Very flirty. Focused. Very happy. That's good. Inspired. Playful. Sad. Very a bit tense. Very uncomfortable. She hasn't turned anyone. Jeez. I didn't know they vampiric accomplishments. They're like half of them are woohoo. How has she seen third? Who died in front of her? Well, we did add to the embarrassed uh, stat, so, you know, we're going to go fix that. Well, we're not really fixing it. It's already made. The stat's already been calculated. So, uh, whoopsies. Um, 
Well, at least it's not the first time, right? There's a... Was this the fourth time? The fifth time? The sixth time? How many times? Uh, it's only the fourth time. You know, you should be used to this by now, Audrey. Seriously. It's nothing to be ashamed of. Your family almost expects you to pee your pants, okay? <laughs> so, don't worry about it. Um, alright. Well, where are we at here? Where are we at? Yeah, and just a forewarning, if my voice gets a little weird, I may be getting sick. I really don't want to. I'm really busy this month and I cannot afford to be sick. But my husband was just sick, so go figure that I get sick too. So we're going to have her, I was going to say print. She's not printing. She's painting. Painting. And Sims don't have printers. They don't print anything at all. Ever. Ever. Never. Where are you at? That You're not eating because now you can't eat and you got to go to school. Well, kid, you're going to school without breakfast. Sorry. Bye-bye. See you later. Um, I'm such a good good parent but well, maybe there's some granola bars in this backpack or something okay i don't get this why you know there's a there, here's the kitchen obviously here's the kitchen here's the table here's where you eat and but i but i know what happens is is when hi oakley when one sim eats they kind of go and sit where other sims are sitting which i get you want to sit with everybody you know oh, they're being so family oriented but um why why did our son what the heck is heck heck is his name theodore why did theodore eat outside and then our son followed that audrey what are you doing are you okay girl you about to explode um but we want you to explode in the good way and just have a baby okay and just magically spin and a baby pops out that's all we want we don't want an actual explosion um all right well you is there breakfast in here what is there? What is there in here? I don't even know. There kind of is. Why don't you make... No, not have. Serve pancakes. I love pancakes. You guys know I love pancakes. When are you giving birth, Miss Embarrassed One? Ooh. I think it's tonight. And I think we need to invite over Bob to get a little more romantic with him what's the matter is that our son no i don't care about you you're not our son <laughs> bye uh, okay so okay uh i made that sound with my lips not it wasn't it wasn't a poot okay um uh, okay so careful with that bowl if i did any of these tricks that the sims do when they mix and cut oh my god i'd, I'd be uh that that batter would be all over the counter and the cabinet, and myself, and the floor, probably the dog. So, anyway. Uh, where are we at with the relationship with Bob? We were just getting a teensy bit romantic with Bob, and we're also, I've been contemplating for a few parts whether we should have a kid with Clement Frost, and um, I think the reason, don't be mad, don't be mad at me, I think the reason I'm a little bit hesitant about having a kid with him is because he's an old dude. Uh, I'm, I'm doing a little age discrimination right now. Okay, by the way, PE class. Wilson's PE class gets to run laps. Oh my god, I hated running. I still hate running. That sucked. Uh, lots of them. To build their stamina and lung capacity. He is mostly through the first lap when he notices a gap under the bleachers just at the right size for a little rest. Would coach notice if he sat out a few laps? Keep going. See? Look. He did wonderfully. Let's see where they're at, too. Oh, he's... Oh. Oh, yes. Another A. We're going to have to do a cheat to get him out of the house and into that other house. But A, baby. All right. That's good. Awesome. These two I don't expect an A from. That's okay. We got a lot to work on with these two because they just aged up. But we got the weekend. So by Monday, bye. Um, so right now, we have six. Right now. So, even if she has twins and Theodore moves out, then hey, guess what? We get to have another baby. Paolo, I see you running by. Don't you hide from me. Hey, son. See you later. Thanks for the text. All right, let's put away the pancakes. We're not spoiling pancakes. That's sacrilegious. And, well, it's sacrilegious not opening these presents. I mean, look at them. We're about to be in spring. So if you think about it, if you're on, like, the ruddy edge of spring, I mean, in Illinois, 
Oh, 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 I forgot about New Year's Eve, guys. Hmm. 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 We're going to have to work that out. Um, uh-oh, we missed the bubble. Uh, another standardized test. Vincent is almost done when he realizes he skipped a bubble near the top. Oh, dear. All his answers are one off. He starts to tell the teacher but realize, realizes he'll have to take it again. Confess it. See, there's nothing happened there. Um, this is sacrilegious. So if you think about it, from an Illinois standpoint, spring is like Marchy, April. I don't know the specific day that it turns into spring, but it's pretty much like late March, April. So if you think about it, it's April and we we still have a tree up. <laughs> no, wait, but it can't. This is confusing. It's not spring, Brittany. It's winter. You think that. But it's the end of winter. I'm com trying to compare The Sims to a real life calendar. It's just not going to work, Bridget. Let it go. Let The Sims be, okay? All right. So let's invite over. Oh, wow. You need to go potty. Let's invite over. Oh, that's not That's not that great, but you're getting better. You're getting better. Um, let's invite over Bob after a quick bathroom break. We need to clean up whatever that mess is in the bathroom. And of course there's more poop on my patio. What else is new? And let's get to know Bob a little bit more because baby tonight, Bob tonight. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? All right, so let's invite him over, scavenge for parts. I can't wait to have some plants back. I mean, we have like garden like zip zilch zero in this, in this since we've gotten, since June, when this expansion came out, I seem a little salty about it, but I'm not that salty, but we were making a good amount of dough from having plants, um, but they had to go make it seasonal on me now. Oh, 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 he's in the mood for love, guys. Okay. All right. I see you. Okay. Singing. Why, Audrey, why are you singing? Is automation on? I need to check something. Game options, gameplay, auto age. Okay, I didn't know if aging was on. I was gonna be like, why is everyone still young? But no, it is off. On it is on, not off. And we're gonna get rid of that magically. I'll do it for her this time. But you know, just one time. What do you want to do? Ooh. Well, we ain't got time to make out. We gotta get to the nitty gritty and get the you know the romance going. And he's got his nice winter coat on again. We're gonna get right, right to it, you know, because we're like good friends. We're gonna flirt. Oh, well, we don't care about that. Being married to Eliza is just, you know, whatever. It's just whatever. Their marriage is crap anyway, right? We don't care. All right, so let's get a little flirty, flirty. Get this relationship up. He'll probably, we'll probably give him the boot before our kid gets home because we're gonna have to do a birthday party or a birthday. Yeah, we never do parties. What's a birthday party? Pfft. Um, okay, so I'm trying to get the random trade generator up now that I think about it because our son's going to come home and, uh-huh, you slipped in the cramp. Oh, ew, don't make a skin mark on my patio. Clean that up. Wait, wait, wait a second. Audrey, you're supposed to be entertaining our victim, our candidate, and for some reason he feels the need to stand in front of our trash can. Go outside and get romantic. Come on. I don't care where it's at. I don't care if it's in front of the dumpster. Dumpster. <laughs> dumpster. <laughs> Ugh. Oh my goodness. Maybe I am getting sick. I can't think straight. But wait. That's all the time. Never mind. That, I'm, I'm fine. I'm normal. Um, I don't care if you flirt in front of the dumpster. Get to it. <laughs> flirting is flirting, girl. It doesn't. It's not always about environment, you know. You know. He's uncomfortable because you're outside. <laughs> You can't be uncomfortable around Audrey. I mean, she's Audrey. What's it be uncomfortable about? You know what I mean? Oh, oh, girl, you... Mm, you gone done and messed up. Let's smooth recovery. What are you doing? No, stop, stop. Hold, hold on a second here. Hold on. We're not thinking clearly. Let's... Okay, did we screw... We did kind of screw something up. Can we apologize for it? Uh, well, let's discuss his mood because he's not in a good mood. 
uh, before you ruin it any further. You know, give them a compliment. Let's be really nice. Boast about family. Oh, calm down, Bob. Um, flatter. You know. Let's, you know, I gotta get rid of that. Otherwise, I don't think. I think if I try to do anything with this this awkward encounter there, it's gonna be a, a double awkward encounter. We don't need doubles. Okay. Um, we already get double babies as it is. So let me try, while they're talking, to plug in her traits here before our kids get home. Uh, she'll probably screw something up while I'm not paying attention. I see you running inside out of the corner of my eye, fool. Where are you going? Who's the, his dad? So that's Theodore. So Theodore's dad is Federigo. So he is... Audrey, girl, why are you rummaging through my trash? Oh, that's right. You're a slob. Freaking slob. Will you stand still? Please stay. Sit. Stay. Thank you. Audrey, do your magic, please. So he is... Okay, I'm trying to do, like, three different things at once. It's not working. Oh, my God. I keep forgetting his traits and turning my head. I'm not even looking at the monitor right now. I am playing The Sims blind-ish. Ish. And he's active. Okay. Um, all right. Yeah, let's get... Um, all right, now the awkward encounter has been removed. Let's uh, get to know, you know, because he's still, he's still in the mood for love. So we can just keep being flirty, you know. If your kids come home, they're not, you know, that's not different. They already know. We need to exchange, exchange digits because we did not do that last time. Um, God, we need to open these presents, man. Maybe I should just have, like, Cora and Audrey open them. But isn't that a waste of a giant pile of presents? They better be good presents, too, if they came from Santa. Just saying. Um, so we're going to compliment appearance. What's the matter with you? I've had her do, like, diddles up here. I'm even, not even paying attention to anything she's doing at all. Why are you upset? Oh, she needs love. Well, you'll get plenty of love when you become the head of the household. Okay, trust me. Uh, she needs to de-stress, though, so how can we de-stress? Let's take a bubble bath. Where are you going now? No one told you to move. Do we have cake? Yes, we do. We do have cake. Um, alright, we're gonna keep, uh, the, yeah, see, he's still in the mode. We're gonna keep, um, just kind of sweet-talking him. What do you want? No, I don't want to do that. Uh, let's get out the... Okay, what's our son's traits? I'm trying to prep this before he walks in the door. He is neat and creative. Go flipping figure. I think he was creative first. We're going to do that. And then neat. If I get the freaking pull-down menu to work. Thank you. And we are all set up. A. Hey! Don't care about the other two. I no, they're not going to make it. Okay, so I'm not going to make it grade-wise, I mean. All right, so let's get out the cake and come on in, son. Oh, look, another child who's in a horrible mood. Go figure. All right, let's add birthday candles and these two. Let's get them inside and they can do their homework. She's feeling all playful now. Is that one of our kids? So it looks like it. Who are you? Oh, two of our kids. It's Michelle and it's Oakley. Oh, hi. How you doing? Okay. Bye. See you later. Whatever. All right. Well, we're going to do the birthday first and move him out. But we're going to have these two. They don't have to do their homework right now. So let's have him change in his everyday play doctor. And as for him, uh, I don't know. Yeah, he's not. Okay. And you get leftovers because you're still hungry. I'll be nice. You blow out candles. Let's generate and see what his final trait will be. Better not be creative. Oh, wait, he's already creative. He can't be double creative. Take that, Theodore. I told you. Okay, so, of course, he's compassionate, but he's going to be active, which he gets from his dad. So, active it is, wherever active is. I'm totally blowing right over it. Okay, and with those traits, I think, and he wants to be a bodybuilder, so that's what we're going to do. Let's join a career. Put the cake away. 
and we're going to have to do this. We're going to have to do... Oh, <laughs> oh shoot. Um, where is it? Where is it? Athlete. Okay. We need to do... Uh, testing sheets on and we're gonna move him out so he's got his job let's go to manage world and give our son the boot bye bye um all right we're going to go to here and then we're going to uh we're gonna, maybe we should turn that on now uh, free real start. Why did that fail? Can I have failed? Um, what am I screwing up here? Uh, let me see. Hold on, I got notes. It's all good. Uh, did I put it in my notes? Shoot. Wasn't it? Uh, oh, free real. Oh, that's what it is. It's it's free real estate on Brittany. Okay. It wasn't even in my notes. I just I remembered something. There's hope. All right. So we're going to transfer Sims. We're gonna move him into a new household. And click that. And we're gonna have to go here. And he's gonna be right here. Um, oh, oh my, oh my god. <clears throat> oh my god, these guys are all dads now. All eight of them. Oh my. Okay, so we're gonna move him in to here. Bam, bam, boom. New house, won't have to use free real estate again. We're gonna just turn that off because I like turning off my cheats. Oh, I did not spell. There we go. Bam. Okay, let's go back in. And I guess we're just gonna await Bebe. Because, um, we're gonna await Bebe. Because, uh, I think that's all we got. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. Kid out. Look at it. Look at how little we have in the house right now. Mmm. Good. Um. Yeah, I just don't know. I think it's tonight. I think it's... It's got to be within a couple hours. It has to be. Um, so I'm going to leave it right here. And I guess we'll have babies in the next part. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please subscribe. Because that would mean the world to me. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.